Hello guys, it's Katie here and welcome to my September wrap up and my October TBR video. If you'd like to cut straight to my October TBR then you can do so by just clicking on the speech bubble over here. But first of all I'm going to start by revealing to you the books that I read in September. The first book being Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. This is book number two in the Vampire Academy series and it's a reread for me and I just loved going into it and just remembering things and the ending and oh, it's just awesome. I loved it so much that I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read an ebook called The Girl Next Door by Celine Castro Villa. This book was so touching, it's so beautiful and I loved it so I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Girl 16 5 Star Fiasco by Sue Lim. This is a book that's in the Jess Jordan series. I read this series when I was a lot younger and I loved it. And this book was really good, so I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Dissemblance by Shanae Brenham. This is a really good sort of thriller, mystery, futuristic book. But I found it was a little bit average for me. I wasn't getting into it as much as I wanted to. So I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read Girl Heart Boy, No Such Thing as Forever by Ali Cronin. And this book was an okay read. However, the main girl protagonist, she annoyed me so much that she just let the book down for me. I wanted to just reach into the book and give her a good slap because she was just so whiny and pathetic and I was just like, why do you have friends? <laughs> like, why? So yes, she let the book down for me so I gave her three out of five stars. Then I read The Broken Destiny by Carla Labuschagne. I, I could probably completely butcher that surname. Oh my god, I'm so bad with pronouncing surnames. But this was a big sort of fantasy book and it was an okay read for me as well so I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read Divergent by Veronica Roth. Woohoo! Oh, finally, finally read this book. Yes, yes. Thank you for picking this book for me to read guys and it was fantastic. I loved it. 5 out of 5 stars no doubt. Then I read Model Misfit by Holly Snell. This is the second book that comes after Geek Girl and you know how much I love Geek Girl. I read Geek Girl in December last year. Absolutely hilarious. It's so fantastic and amazing but I was so excited about this book. I had to read it and to get this early I was just like yes. So I love this book just as much as I did with the first one. It just It's just so fantastic. Harriet Manor, she is a great character. She's so funny. She is a model. She is clumsy. She comes out with these random facts. I'm just like, oh my god, just loved it. Just as much as the first one. So 5 out of 5 stars, damn straight. Then I read A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And I read the illustrated children's version and even though it was a children's book I was just completely mind blown how awesome this book was. It was just so beautiful and fantastic and it was such a clever plot twist on the actual book that I was just like oh my god. Oh, like by the end of it I was just like wow that was such a really really good book. So I get that 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Teardrop by Lauren Kate and this is her new book that comes out this month and oh loved it I love it even more than her Fallen series but this is so beautiful just as beautiful as the cover it's fantastic and awesome so I gave this 5 out of 5 stars then I read Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy this is the first book that's in the Shade series and this was another viewer's choice book and it was good. It was a great start to a new series and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. Then I completed the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire audio CD set. There were 17 CDs for this book and it took literally from the beginning of the month to the end to finish this. So wow, it's a very big book and yes, but it was awesome all the same. I loved it and I gave it 5 out of five stars. And the final book that I read in September was Revived by Cat Patrick. This is the other book that you guys chose for me to read and thank you because this was awesome. This is the first Cat Patrick book that I've read and it was so good. I loved it. So I gave it five out of five stars. So there you have it guys. Those are the books 
that I managed to read in September. All written reviews will be linked down in the comment box below and video reviews would have been around my face whilst they were being mentioned. Now let's move on to my October TBR. Welcome to the TBR part, this is where I'm going to reveal to you the books I plan on reading for the month of October. The first three are ebooks I have to review for blog tours. They are in the same week, which is near the beginning of October, so they take main priority over other books. And one of them I'm currently reading is Endless by Amanda Gray. I'm a third through it, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it, so hopefully it shouldn't take me long to finish that one. The others are My Sister's Reaper by Dorothy Dreyer and Garden of Eden by Kate Cowan. So these are the books that I just mentioned. And I'm also currently reading The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, so I plan to finish that this month. And then I recently started House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. This is a massive, massive book, and it's an adult book, so it's completely written differently to young adult novels. So it's going to take a lot more focus than usual, so I plan on just reading this slowly throughout the month and I'm currently listening to an audiobook on my mp3 player and that is Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris. I'm 60% through that at the moment so I plan on finishing that this month and then I've got The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey which is the booktuber book club pick for this month so I plan on reading that and I'm really really excited about that. Now there are books that I want to read but whether I get round to them who knows. The first book is Hidden Among Us by Katie Moran. I got this from my library and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And then I've got City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. And this is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series. And I really, really want to continue on with this series. And I know that Roberto, my good friend Roberto, he wants to read this with me. So hopefully I can get around to reading that. So that'd be good to share my views with somebody else. So those are the books I plan on reading for October. However, a book came in the mail today that might just change everything. And that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And it is Rowell because I tweeted Rainbow and I asked her, how do you pronounce your surname? Because people pronounce it differently. They say Rowell, they say Ruel, they say Rrrr. And I was like, I need to know because I don't want to embarrass myself because I hate it when I butcher people's surnames. And she said it rhymes with towel. So there you go. It's Rowell. So yes, this book might just change everything. But who knows, who knows. If I get time to read that, obviously it'd be absolutely great. But yes, those are the books I plan on reading. I hope you have enjoyed my September wrap up and October TBR. Give me a thumbs up if you have. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.